yeah. Episode 21, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Let go, let go. Why has Crenshaw's Reno been overlooked? A look at Vernon Jackson and the Hawkeye Strand. Are the recall buck dogs super doo-doo? Let us analyze the evidence on this episode of Bulldog Court. 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 Bulldog community, please rise. This is your host, Get a Hold Generals. Because we got to get a hold of the game. Of the game. Of the game. Court is now in session. Oh man, man. Sleep time for the Sandman. But you better get your ass up. Cause this is another episode of Bulldog Court. This is your host, Get a Hope James. Because we got to get a hold of the game. Oh uh, man, a lot of chatter, chatter, quack, quack going on in these bulldog talk streets. You know what I'm saying? People hitting these episodes like Chris Jack in the 80s. You hear understand what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, shout out to all the supporters of the Sporting Dog Archive, Dog of Note, uh, Fun Facts, Hidden Gems, and of course, you know, the story of different grand champions and champions throughout history. And main course with your Bulldog Court. Uh, we like to thank everybody who checked out last week. Shout out to all, uh, my, uh, my smoking dog men, my smoker dog men, the ones that get high as giraffe balls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And go into the chat room and listen to the dog talk. Shout out to all the smokers, the bong hitters, you know what I'm saying? The blunt rollers, the joint smokers, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of y'all. Continue, you know safely but uh you know shout out to everybody who checked me out shout out to everybody who commented you know and um uh, share some of their experiences you know some dialogue back and forth about certain dogs in history i really enjoyed that you know a lot of talk about the little john dogs the red pirate dogs etc etc but i'm not gonna hold you up on this saturday i digress we're gonna get into these cases and for my first case, why has Crenshaw's Reno been overlooked? Let us dig into this. Uh, you know, as my OG would say, I'm cutting everything with a barred axe. You know, I'm only going by the pairs online statistics. Um, because I can tell you the only time I ever seen Crenshaw's Reno was in Wood Superman 2. That would come down off of Bristol's Herschel, Bristol's Herschel and, you know, all the Superman 2 stuff. And then, you know, they would breed Reno to a dog called Reese's T- Citation Sue. You know, that would be the, the part of Reno that I knew. But when you look at the pads, you know, you see where he has at least, what, five champions, you know. And I don't think he's talked about enough. We're talking about Crenshaw's Reno. Um, not Ed Crenshaw, but James Crenshaw's Reno, a little mate brother to the champion Jeep, champion Charlie, champion Missy, and the Holly Dog. So we see where he has Garrett's champion Big Bear, four time winner, one time loser. Garrett's champion Dirty Mary, three time winner. Rebel Kennels, you know, Rebel Kennels had. A little bit of everything from everybody that was going on at that time. Rebel Kennels had a champion off of Reno called Champion Reb. Reese's Walking Tall two-time winner. And Six Feet Deep's Champion Punisher. Three-time winner, one-time loser. Also, Champion Fontenot's Hondo. So, I called out a two-time winner also. But the champions I called out were the five. And then we also got uh Hollingsworth... Keela, who was off of Crenshaw's Reno, bred to a champion, or Bob, which is off of Trim Moody and Honey Bunch, bred to Miss Poole Hall Red, which is off of Grand Champion Boomerang, of course, bred to Hides or Carver's Mimi, Heavy Iron Head. And so, you know, I proposed the question to the Bulldog community because I actually don't have the answer, you know. Just because I'm proposing the question does not mean I readily have the answer. 
Maybe you can help me with this. Uh, shout out to Brian Gilbert, who asked me to do a piece on Crenshaw's Reno to highlight this dog. But like I said, I don't think he was ever matched. He was just a stud dog, you know, just used for breeding. Um, he ended up throwing just like many of his little mates, Jeep Charlie, you know, throwing Jeep through Missy, you know, bred, bred into her half brother, grand champion snake, um, through some dogs, you know, snake being off of Otis and honey bunch. So this just, a, if this is all true, this is just another testament to the producing power of the bow honey bunch dogs. Yet another producing you know at least a por i believe that that's all it takes is what four champions um he had five so if that's true then he's a por at least and yet another example of a extremely potent producer from the bow honey bunch breeding so it's just something i wanted to touch on you know and i wonder why they left his name, you know, nobody talks about his champions that he threw. I haven't, at least I haven't heard anybody discuss the champion that he threw, but you know, hey, not everybody talks about champion Missy, but I understand why, because they said she ran off the last one and was never seen again. Um, I think for the fourth one, um, you know, she, she, she turned reindeer. She, and she took a run for the border. She never looked back. But um, maybe that's the reason why they don't mention Missy. But Missy um, shows up in some pretty significant dogs, you know, um, especially the breeding to uh, Champion Chinaman, um, which uh, I believe that made the Crumbs Nubby dog. I believe um, you find that um, her in... Arcola Combine's champion or Grady's champion Red Man. I think that's in there. So you will find these dogs in pedigrees, but for whatever reason, nobody talks about them. But what are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Please leave your comments in the comment section and let me know what you think. So for the case of why is Crenshaw's Reno overlooked? This case is now dismissed. We'll get back to the show after these important messages. 